Attend the Lords of France and Burgundy, Gloucester. Meantime, we shall express our darker purpose. Give me the map there. Know that we have divided in three our kingdom, and tis our fast intent to shake all cares and business from our age, conferring them on younger strengths, while we, unburdened, crawl toward death. Our son of Cornwall, and you are no less loving son of Albany, we have this hour a constant will to publish our daughter's several dowers, that future strife may be prevented now. The princes, France and Burgundy, great rivals in our youngest daughter's love, long in our court have made their amorous sojourn, and here are to be answered. Tell me, my daughters, since now we will divest us both of rule, interest of territory, cares of state, which of you, shall we say, doth love us most? that we our largest bounty may extend where nature doth with merit challenge. Goneril, our eldest born, speak first. Of all these bounds, even from this line to this, with shadowy forests and with champagnes rich, with plenteous rivers and wide-skirted meads, we make thee lady. To thine and Albany's issue be this perpetual, what says our second daughter, our dearest Regan? Wife of Cornwall, speak. To thee and thine hereditary ever remain this ample third of our fair kingdom. No less in space, validity, and pleasure than that conferred on Goneril. Now our joy, although our last and least, to whose young love the vines of France and milk of Burgundy strive to be interest. What can you say to draw a third more opulent than your sisters? Speak. Nothing. <laughs> nothing will come of nothing. Speak again. How, oh, how, oh, Cordelia. Mend your speech a little, lest you may mar your fortunes. But goes thy heart with this. So young and so untender. Let it be so. Thy truth then be thy dower. For by the sacred radiance of the sun, the mysteries of Hecate and the night, by all the operation of the orbs from whom we do exist and cease to be, here I disclaim all my paternal care, propinquity, and property of blood, and as a stranger to my heart and me, hold thee from this forever. The barbarous Scythian, or he that makes his generation messes to gorge his appetite, shall to my bosom be as well neighbored, pitied, and relieved as thou, my sometime daughter. Peace, tent! Come not between the dragon and his wrath. I loved her most, and thought to set my rest on her kind nursery. Hence and avoid my sight! So be my grave, my peace, as here I give her father's heart from her. Call France! Who stirs? Call Burgundy! Cornwall and Albany, with my two daughter's dowers, digest the third. Let pride, which she calls plainness, marry her. I do invest you jointly with my power, preeminence, and all the large effects that troop with majesty. Ourself, by monthly course, with reservation of an hundred nights by you to be sustained, shall our abode make with you by due turn. Only we shall retain the name, and all the addition to a king, the sway, revenue, execution of the rest, beloved sons, be yours. Which, to confirm, this coronet part between you. The bow is bent and drawn. Make from the shaft. Kent, on thy life, no more. Out of my sight. Now, by Apollo. Oh, vassal, miscreant. 
Hear me, recreant. On thine allegiance, hear me. That thou hast sought to make us break our vows, which we durst never yet, and with strained pride to come betwixt our sentence and our power, which nor our nature nor our place can bear, our potency made good. Take thy reward. Five days we do allot thee for provision to shield thee from disasters of the world, and on the sixth, to turn thy hated back upon our kingdom. If on the tenth day following thy banished trunk be found in our dominions, the moment is thy death! Away! By Jupiter, this shall not be revoked! My lord of Burgundy, we first address toward you, who with this king hath rivaled for our daughter. What in the least will you require in present dower with her, or cease your quest of love? Right, noble Burgundy, when she was dear to us, we did hold her so, but now her price is fallen. Sir, there she stands. If aught within that little seeming substance, or all of it, with our displeasure pieced and nothing more, may fitly like your grace, she's there and she is yours. Will you, with those infirmities she owes, unfriended, new adopted to our hate, dowered with our curse, and strangered with our oath, take her or leave her? Then leave her, sir, for by the power that made me, I tell you all her wealth. Folks, whether you are as insane as King Lear, or only just as angry as King Lear, please don't drive mad. All the things she said, all the things she said, running through my head, running through my head, all the things she said. <laughs>